So that is the Sunset Crater Volcano. It last erupted a little over a thousand years ago, but it's an actual volcano and it is technically still active. It was really hard to find any information on the Benito campground. I mean, oh my gosh, oh my God. That is so freaking amazing. Old lava flows. Holy cow. Okay, sorry, I just got so excited about seeing the lava flow. I've never seen that before. I mean, it's massive and it's just so unique looking. Like, you know, they say that the astronauts came here and trained and now I see why. I mean, it's just incredible looking. Um, so I can't wait. We're going to go do that this evening. We're back at Sunset Crater at one of the most popular trails here. It's the AHA Trail and it goes right through the lava field behind me. So it's only about a quarter of a mile long. They say it takes about 15 minutes. Um, it is a little jagged. Uh, most of it is paved, the visitor center said. So I don't know. So as you can see, there, it wasn't true. There is no pavement. This is a little bit rocky. So just watch your feet, super easy. Just be aware of your steps. like how the lava like came in on itself. It's so amazing. Ooh, and I learned what the green stuff on the rocks is. So it's a combination of algae and fungus. That's the first to take hold to start breaking it down and making it into a uh, ecosystem. So after this, then I think they said like small rodents would come in and start making a home and then large birds. So it's kind of interesting that that's the beginning.
the middle. So pretty. About a thousand years ago is when the sunset crater exploded, erupted, erupted, and created this lava flow. And just a few years ago, it caught on fire. And I think it'd be just the thought of all of this like burning really kind of, I don't know, it would be a really bizarre and interesting thing to see like all the lava flow and everything with the flames, it would be like it was really happening. I don't know, it's, it's odd, but just a brain teaser. <laughs> So about forest fires, now they're needed. When forests burn every few years, usually you have lightning strikes that not human ignorance, stupidity, but actual nature. Uh, usually every few years, a forest would get hit by lightning and it would catch fire. Now this fire typically would clear out a lot of the blow, um, ground cover, which makes more room for new trees and things like that. And a lot of seeds for these trees, they don't sprout until they have that heat from fire, it seems like. It's something I remember hearing once. So Pine cones open and stuff. Yes, pine cones open and the seeds then can germinate and grow. So I'm not saying, you know, we should go and start forest fires, things like that but we do need them to clear the ground cover. And when you don't have a surplus of ground cover, typically the fires don't burn as hot and the trees survive. Healthy trees will survive something like that. But when we don't have those natural forest fires or we don't clear ground cover, when we do get a fire, it's so very devastating and there's, it's really hard to stop them. And typically nature, when they start them with lightning, rain's on the way. So, <laughs> people, we don't have that power. Red face again. I love this thing. Oh, one more thing. Yes, it is very rocky. You're gonna have to spend a lot of your time watching your steps. But take time, look around. This is probably one of the most unique things I've ever seen in my life, up close and in real life. So besides all the large rocks and stuff we've seen, this is not sand. These are itty bitty pieces of dried lava. With the salt, it, when it starts breaking and eroding, it turns into this amazing sand type texture. And that's what helped the Wapaki with their farming, I believe. Of this amazing adventure 
across the lava rocks. We come to the sign that says, trail this way. So I suggest it would be much easier on you if you do come to the top end and come down the hill instead of trying to climb up the sandy hill at the end. <laughs> but it's amazing. I highly recommend it. I, I would do it again. I would love to share this with my family. <laughs>